Welcome everyone. This interesting question given to us are two blue squares sharing a common vertex. Distance between the two sets of other vertex is 5 and 7 cm. Exciting part is with this limited data we have to find the total area of these two blue squares. We'll solve the same question by two ways. First approach it will be using mathematical formula and second approach will be solving it by logical reasoning that's without any formula. Let's check our first approach here. Let's start by assuming the side length of this square as a centimeter and for this square it's b centimeter. Let's assume this angle here is alpha degree. Now applying angle sum property around a point where these two angles are 90 degree we'll find that this remaining angle here is 180 minus alpha. To solve it further, we'll be using cosine law which states that for any triangle with side length A, B and C, the relation between the sides and the angle holds by this equation. Now applying this cosine law in this triangle here with side length A, B and 7. So we'll get 7 square as A square plus B square minus 2AB cos of 180 minus alpha. Now we know that cos of 180 minus alpha is nothing but minus cos alpha. So this minus and minus will become plus here and the new equation will be a square is 7 square is a square plus b square plus 2ab cos alpha. Now applying same cosine law in this second triangle with side length 5 b and a will get 5 square is a square plus b square minus 2ab cos alpha. Now these two equations, let's add these two equations. So we'll get LHS will be 7 square plus 5 square and RHS will find that this plus and minus are getting cancelled. So RHS will be 2 times of A square plus B square. Now simplifying it, we'll get 74 is 2 times of A square plus B square or A square plus B square is 37. And A square is what is area of this blue square and b square is area of this blue square. The total area of these two squares is 37 centimeter square and that's our answer. Now let's check the second approach that's logical approach. For our logical approach let's make a copy of this original diagram. Now here we'll solve, we'll exploit the fact that the very limited data is provided related to these two squares and the angle between them. In the original figure only limitation which is there is that these two squares will share a common vertex and the distance between these vertexes is 5 cm and 7 cm. There is no limitation related to this angle here and there is no restriction related to the size of the squares. So let's do one thing keeping this length as 5 and 7 Let's rotate this square slightly anti-clockwise and we can adjust the size so that this purple and red length remains as 5 and 7 cm. Now this particular figure still meets all the original conditions of original figure. That is this distance between vertexes is 5 and this is 7 and they are still sharing a common vertex. So as all the conditions are still met thus the total blue area should remain same otherwise the question will become invalid how about if we'll rotate this blue square on top more on the anti-clockwise such that the, both the squares they are sharing the same side length now believe it or not this new figure form still fulfill all the original conditions of the question and thus the total blue area should remain same. Now here we can easily work out as this is 5 plus x and this 7 is side length 5 plus x plus x. So we can make out that this square side length is 1 cm and the bigger square side length is 6 cm. So area will be 36 plus 1 or the total area of blue region is 37 cm square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.